Real Cool Club is filmed in front of a live internet audience. The show is fully interactive and themed based off audience suggestion. This week's theme, extravagant hats! Extravagant hats! Extravagant hats! Hats, go hats! Hats, hats, hats. It's the Real Cool Club. Yes, it's real cool people. Real cool news. Real cool things. You are in control. Hosted by the hilariously talented Ethan Newberry. Also with Lindsay Harbert and the guy that stole the intro. You've just been initiated into the Real Cool Club. Yeah, welcome to the Real Cool Club. Tonight's episode, Extravagant, extravagant Hats. hats. <laughs> why, why are we wearing extravagant hats? Well, every week we let you, the audience, challenge us to do something for the next week's show. This week's challenge was to wear extravagant hats. Uh, I'm your host, Ethan Newberry. I'm Lindsay Harbert, a we, co-host. And we have uh, Mr. Brian Grammo on the board. Oh hi everybody! This is my this is my. I'll get it in front of the background there. It's my extravagant hat. That is a, a glorious extravagant it hat. Is. Yeah, this show is live, guys. It's April seventh, two thousand eleven. You can interact with us at any point in the chat room. We've got a chat Jump room in feed. There, guys. We've got Twitter. If you want to call us uh, or anything like that, we'll have the phone number up. Why not, Brian? Why not? Just in case they do want to call, because we have a very special guest tonight. Very special. Very and near special. and dear to our hearts. Extremely near and dear to our hearts. This guy is one, hilarious, two, talented, three, say it. Uber hot. Uber hot. And sweet. Yeah. This guy is in it to win it, Mr. Parvesh China. Yay! Yay! Look at him, he's even got an extravagant hat. Extravagant hat! Ah! <laughs> I'm so glad I helped you with your hair. <laughs> you had chunk on your head. But yeah. not chunk chunk. <laughs> no, but it was trouble. chunk. The chunk. original chunk. The ori the chunk's namesake. Chunk. Uh, so, Parv, thanks for joining us on the show. We'll get to you in a little bit. In the meantime, hunker down. Have some fun. You can take your hat off you if you want to. You can do whatever you want. You can chime in during the course of the show. If there's something you want to talk about, do it. Uh, yeah, talk yeah, about him. Do it. <laughs> uh, we're really, really blessed to have him in the, in the uh, studio tonight. So if you have questions for Parv, please hold on to them. Because once we get to uh, his segment, you can ask those questions and interact with Parvay. Can you yeah. believe it? Can you believe it? I think Jutton77 is definitely going to be jumping in because the entire chat room has been, oh my god, 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 Parvesh! And now it's Parvesh with three exclamation points. Jutton just says, I understand. Hey, buddy. I like Jutton. Nice hat. He loves Jutton. Did he forget? Nice uh, did he forget oh. his S in his name? Yeah, I he did. So, yeah. He just said Jutton. 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 <laughs> Jutton. So we've got a really great show <laughs> packed with fun tonight, guys. We've got Weekly Cool coming out. We've got Let's Get Personal. We've got Parvesh China in studio to talk to. And guess what's back? Challenge Pit. Ooh. Challenge Pit. Challenge, Challenge pit. pit. And I'm wearing really tall shoes to be at a good level with Ethan tonight, and I'm going to keep these suckers on, so it should be interesting. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then finally, uh, we, what was the other thing? Oh, Photo Chop Shop. We have that going on right now. What's Photo Chop Shop? It's the, it's the, uh, the part of the show where you get to work on a photo and chop it up in Photoshop and then submit it and win stuff at the end of the show. And nobody's done yet. You don't want to chop That me? actually might not be true. Okay. That might, some people I might have Mansion. entered. So if you'd like to, go to The Real Cool Club's Facebook, which is facebook.com slash The Real Cool Club. Go grab that photo of Lindsay. It's just Lindsay. Oh. And add a hat. Add whatever kind of hat you want on it. And then post it to the Stream TV's Facebook page and uh, tag The Real Cool Club. And we'll take a look at it later in the show. Let's explain our hats. Look at mine. It's got Quachi from the Olympics. The Olympics. It's got a moose. With ping pong balls in his and mouth. 3D glasses on 3D on glasses, those. pizzazz, and then I got a pen, just in case I need to write something. And I have to point out the pizzazz is kind of crinkle cut, mm -hmm. so it looks like a disco ball. You know what that means? It's extravagant. And it's going to be a dance party up in here. Lindsay, explain yours. Listen, I wanted to wear a tiny hat. And so I found this jaunty little tiny hat, put it on a headband, which is digging into my ears because it's so freaking heavy. 
I went. Moan, moan. I'm I a went, victim. I went to a craft store, bought a little nest, put a little bird on it, and the bird has put multicolored bird eggs. It. Put a bird on put it. Put a bird on it. So I did, and it made it better. Oh, there's also flowers. Brian just got his Which hat. Harv right just got his hat. <laughs> uh, yeah, mine, mine was donated to me by a very friendly neighbor passing by in a hallway, and I just bludgeoned them and took it. So I would love to have Wings? that hat. Uh, they were very tiny on their way to awake. So okay, and uh, Parv's oh, hat is it. a winter hat. Parv, I hope your head doesn't get too hot. My hat is from Lindsay because she used to cut my hair, so I just thought it was appropriate that she would also style me. Yeah, yeah except now it's under a hat. Well, still looks good. Still looks good, Parvesh. <laughs> I think it's time for our first segment. Let's do it. Weekly cool. Your weekly cool. This is the segment where we tell you what's cool this week and why. And why it's not. And why it's not. Too. Yeah. All right. You got real cool things. I don't know if you guys heard about this, but a young British girl accidentally dislocated her jaw while yawning in class. She was so bored, oh. she yawned and dislocated her entire jaw, and it stuck open. Oh. Uh, the doctors had to shove... Uh, popsicle, <laughs> popsicle sticks. sticks into her mouth to relax her muscles. The, uh, go for it, Linz. Uh The not cool thing about that is that that sounds really awful and painful. The real cool thing about that is that she's never going to be hurting for a date again. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 she's like if the, if the um, toothbrush reach guy was a woman, which we all know. <laughs> Everybody. That's, that's <laughs> one of those fucking crazy stories. Go for it. <laughs> Real cool people. Uh, Charlie Sheen's Torpedo of Truth tour was met with booze and a mass exodus at yeah. his debut show yeah. um, in Detroit, Michigan this week. Mm -hmm. The not cool thing is that the people of Detroit spent their hard-earned dollars on those tickets to the show. Very sad. The cool part about that is the people of Detroit finally have someone to look at and think, oh, my situation's not so bad. Finally. Finally. Detroit Thank you, has Charlie a little Sheen. bit of hope. Thank you, Charlie Sheen. A little bit of hope. You're not Charlie Sheen. And Detroit still sucks. Oh, no. uh, oh, man, I wanted to move to Detroit. We'll get to that later. What? What? <laughs> See, what? That needs to be its own segment. Why <laughs> Lindsay's <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Why Lindsay's dumb. No. DetroitLives.com. Go Seriously, check it go out. Check it's it great. Out. They make it look so pretty. <laughs> So Johnny Knoxville did a video, and suddenly I'm like, I'm gonna move to Detroit. What? <laughs> what? It was like a two month. You got thing, sucked into the Chrysler M&M &M ad. That's what it was. Oh, it oh, does that look was good, good too. Oh, well, yeah, the Super Bowl. Real cool news. A shocking video. You guys, I don't know if you've seen this video. Uh, hit the internet. I say, let's just show it. Brand, let's, yeah. let's show that video. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that oh, that is not a prank. That is real. That's real. That really did happen. Uh, the cool news is that the woman that was driving is okay. She's the, totally fine. The not cool news. The windshield, the windshield is, is dead. dead. The windshield the is windshield dead. The windshield is dead. You guys, let me take a few words. Uh, I'm sorry, windshield. Uh, you had a great life. There will be a memorial service held on Sunday. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you'd like to uh, donate to the Windshield Fund, go to redcross.org and donate to Japan, because Japan needs the money Japan more than the Windshield. Guys, why was she videotaping while she was That's driving? That's my question we, we was. We talked about that, too. Right? Uh, what I think ends up happening, like, people on the internet so that were cute. talking about this, was she was filming the truck that was passing in the wrong lane. That's oh. my best guess, is that she was trying to document this truck that was passing illegally. Okay. But, I, I mean, otherwise, I'm like, well, yeah, why would you videotape that? Uh, but yeah, it's so ridiculous that that, it, that was caught on camera. Look how close it got to her. It was coming at her. It just ricocheted off the wheel. Off the wheel. So and the wheel saved. The wheel is a hero. The windshield might be dead, Fooster but the wheel says, is a hero. Fooster says, where did that wood plank come from? I think it was just laying on the road, and the trailer it in front of them up. kicked it up. Uh, one alien, two. Was it an organ donor? The windshield? I I hope so. I hope it had its license. Mm -hmm. um, why the hell was she recording it? Yeah, says Banks. Yeah. I think we just answered that. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, the cool thing, uh, the not cool thing is a uh, windshield, windshield is dead. Windshield is dead. So that's We're really sorry. Sad. We're Go sorry, for it, windshield. Hundreds of USC students and faculty were shocked and appalled this week when a live sex show was performed by a fraternity member and some random chick on a high rise on campus. Check out the photo. <gasps> Look at that. This is one of many photos. This many, is probably many the most photos. appropriate one we could show. Uh, they're all online. The not cool news is that poor guy got suspended from a frat. The cool news is, you had sex on a roof! 
Dude, you had sex. You're super ripped. Dude, you have a huge dick. Huge dick. It was a prolonged dura- of prolonged duration, as it said in one news article. <laughs> Dude, you had hundreds of people watching you bone a chick. <laughs> the chick was a little wonky looking, but you were still boning a chick on a roof. Dude, high fives for the rest of your life. <laughs> Sorry about your frat, but you don't want to be in a frat because I would never boning chicks on the roof. And the thing is, that building was like 30 stories high. Super high. (laughs) And they're just like walking around up there like, okay, now we're going to do it doggy style over here. I'm going to go ahead and go down on you Uh, over there. uh, uh, And then why don't you just put your legs up? And that is your Weekly Cool. Your Weekly Cool. Cool. Huge balls too. The stream watch says That's... huge balls too. I don't. I don't <laughs> know how you do that. That's not bragging, right? What frat would suspend someone like that? They That's have a good point. to. That's they a good have point. to though. They have to to put out that image. The gentleman yeah. of I think it was Kappa Sigma something. I don't. Yeah, know. Yeah, Kappa Sigma. Uh, but uh, they don't deserve the publicity. We're gonna get them. Be careful. Uh, Steve O four seven eight five says, Hey Lindsay, Ethan, Brian, Parv, today is my twenty sixth birthday, and if I could possibly get some sort of shout out or something from you guys, that would make my night amazing. Pretty please. No, sorry. Sorry. Hey, happy birthday. Parv, uh, Parv, says Parv, Parv Go ahead, is Parv, a bleeding say it. heart. Happy birthday. And uh, Steve O four seven eight five. Steve O four eight nine five. Close seven, enough. Five. Yeah, close he just enough. Likes that. Happy birthday. Speaking of guests, we of course are joined by Mr. Parvesh China. Let us roll that clip, Mr. Brian Grammo. Who wants your taste of Gupta? I will win the competition, and by this time next year, my name will be on everybody's lips and T-shirts, which I will call Guptis, and a line of herbal teas, which I will also call Guptis. Close your eyes. Give me your hand, darling. Do you feel my heart beating? Do you understand? Do you feel the same? Or am I only dreaming? Or is this the new- Look! I'm a pilgrim and an Indian. Burn the witch! <laughs> what time is it? 8.05? Five, six, seven, eight! Joining us in the studio, Parvesh China! Yeah. Uh, Look at that! <laughs> I remember! I don't remember that much. <laughs> Hi, guys! Hi, cool clubs! Hi, Parvesh! I remember, I remember when we used to. No, oh, high five. Oh, wait, look, is he high on here? Oh, look! Yeah! Hey. yeah. Boosh, 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 boosh. Boosh, boosh. Now the hat. Now hat, hat heads. Now, Parvesh, I like the, the flippy up. you're on NBC's Outsource. I am. That's pretty fantastic. That's huge. I like it. It's been a good year. I'm very happy. Uh, what, what's what been your favorite part of the entire experience for you? Working with a lot of Indian people. <laughs> They're really nice and courteous. They seem really nice. They seem awesome. We're like the nice race. <laughs> you are, yeah, you are the <laughs> only race that's friendly and nice. Mm-hmm. You're right. I more will say than, that. More than the Chinese... <laughs> And more than the Peruvians. You can say that because you're ethnic. If we said that, we would be burned at the stake. That's mm. true. Burn but, the witch. Burn the witch. Right. Burn Lindsay. You're more Anglo than me. What is, I don't know. I don't know what that word means. Yeah, Lindsay looks like she's got a little bit of Indian. Yeah, I can be ethnically ambiguous. In her. Great. Let's mm. make fun of the color of my skin. Well, you are a little pasty. It's not your fault. He no. has to say that because I know he has to because he can. He can. Uh, well, part uh, I I love the show. The, the show is hilarious. I know we have a lot of your fans in the chat room that I'm I'm are dying to ask you questions and Hi stuff fans. like that. Hi fans. If you guys have any questions for Parvesh, please type them in there. Tightrope says Parvesh China is Bengali for the man with the smoothest moves and ability to attract the ladies. Oh, Ayo. Ayo. back off, Lindsay. <laughs> Easy. I can't Ayo. help it. I just want to get all up in there because we've had cuddle time. Before. We've had. So much cuddle time, and I miss it. I know. Yeah. What? Um, you, <laughs> you should tell it, the audience how we know each other, cool club kids. Well, Ethan, 
the way Ethan and I met was we were put on an improv team together. Yeah. And then um, months later, almost a year after the team had been together, we had another member put on our Joined team. Joined our team, and that team member was Parvage Tina. It was me. And this was before the entire mm. AppSource thing. I believe you had already filmed the pilot, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, like right about there. It was right like around March. the same time, you were filming a lot of stuff. I yeah. mean, you don't, our outsource is not the only thing you've done. You are one of the hardest working actors I know in Hollywood. Uh -huh. uh, you are in more commercials than anyone I know. You're in lots of TV shows, lots of movies. Uh, so you've probably seen Parvesh's face many, many times. I see, I used to see him every time I had to change anything on my car insurance, which happened a lot because I've been in a lot of accidents. <laughs> yeah. And he yeah. would just be there pointing to his computer. I'm like, oh, this could be a horrible experience, but he Parvesh makes it, he is makes there. It I made it nice race. for you. You made Lindsay. it better for me. So we got to know you accident. pretty well, Parv, and uh, got to play with you improv-wise uh, in L.A. a lot. And you were very, very funny. And I'm looking forward to more. I remember we used to sing a lot, the three of us. We yes. did. Mm -hmm. um, we had two musical shows with two or three. Mm -hmm. No more than and that, And yeah. ever, ever since we realized that that was a lot of fun, um, I always kind of tried to make it happen. Yeah. Every time I would be yeah. on stage with Parvesh, I'm like... Hi. Hi! <laughs> Let us do a musical scene. We would dance a lot. And then, a lot like, of Lindsay was the only person that I could physically carry <laughs> in our team because she was smaller than me. So I'm like, yeah. always like, Lindsay, jump into my arms. And I would. And she did. Parvesh, Mr. Monkey Man, 8118. Is it true India is really just a large underground set in LA? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the entire country is really just underneath the valley. If you look at the hills of Los Angeles, Underneath it is the entire subcontinent of India, and that's where we film. Which is, no. I mean, it's crazy to think, but it works. It no. completely works. They do a really good job yeah. set dressing. I like it. I mean, it's nice to know that India is really close. Mm -hmm. I, I, I can go get some Mexican food and then just go to India. You can go to Mike's Tacos and get so some great. tacos. There I am. Tightrope asks, question for Parvesh, are yeah. there any roles or character types you, uh, you want to play but have not yet? I want to recreate Taxi. <gasps> and I want to play, <laughs> I want to play so Judd Hirsch, Andy Kaufman, and Danny DeVito's characters. So it'll just be like me doing like three characters of Taxi. I'd watch that. I would yeah. watch. So you're, like the watch Eddie Murphy version of Taxi, right? Or the Tyler Perry version. The Tyler Perry version. I like no, Tyler that would Perry be better. a broke version. It would be the Eddie. Well, no, but it would still Tyler make money, Perry and it would still have sequel after sequel after sequel. That's well, true. can you imagine Tyler Perry? <laughs> Tyler Perry presents Taxi. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Taxi. Hallelujah. <laughs> Good afternoon. Happy anniversary, lit. <laughs> <laughs> Say your prayers in Jesus. Uh, Ty Robo says that would be awesome. Yeah. Um, seeing you, Judge. I'll just butt in. There's so, looks like there's someone new, or we are live. It's Mears Man what's asking, what is this about? What, what is this about? This about? If you're just about? joining us, we're streaming live. It's the Real Cool Club, and they're interviewing Parv. All right, keep up. Get here on time. <laughs> we're, in, we're interviewing Parvish Chena from NBC's Outsourced, which is on every Thursday night at 9.30 Central, 10.30 Eastern. Wait a minute. What? That's today. That's, mm -hmm. that's today. Do we have a new episode tonight, Parv? We actually do. Mm. We have a new episode where Charlie's character... Played by Diedrich Bader from The Drew Carey I Show and him. Office Space. Hysterical. He's great. Yeah. He's awesome. Uh, he gets fired from his job, and he might end up working in our call center. Ayo! What? what? Spoilers! You heard it here first before the show even ends! Spoilers! What? I could just watch you do that for hours. What? Um... jump on you right now. <laughs> for, a, for a minute, that was like a weird dial tone thing happening with like the frequencies merging together. That was here. the extent of our musical... Yeah, yeah that's all we musical ever did. Improv. Unless just... Challenge Pit brings out more. <laughs> oh! Hint, hint. Challenge us to sing, bitches! Oh, let's yeah, move yeah. on to the next segment. Let's move on to the next segment. This involves all of us. All right. So let's get... Let's get... Per, let's get personals. Oh, let's get busy. Let's get personal. Personal. This is a segment where we actually get to talk to you guys about stuff going on in our lives. Can you believe it? Lindsay, right. you start us off. I'll kick it off. Listen, my dad decided this week that five horses, two dogs, four grandchildren, three children, and a wife weren't nearly enough. <laughs> so he went out and built himself a chicken coop and got 22 chickens. Look, my hat just laid an egg. <laughs> oh, no. 
Keep going. I spoke with him on the phone yesterday after receiving a picture text of said chickens, and I said, well, are you going to name them, Dad? And he said, no, I think I'm just going to call them chicken. And I said, well, can All I? All of them. <laughs> and I said, well, then can I name them? And he said, sure. Text me. Whoa. <laughs> that was I freaky. That's yeah, okay. Text me a chicken name a day. So I've started my list. Y'all want to hear it? Yeah. I do. Broil, broiled, fried, buffalo, honey mustard, nuggets, stuffed, piccata, parmesan, and jane. <laughs> That's what I've got so far. Okay. But there are so many ways that chicken can be prepared that I'm really excited for the name. Wait, he's not going to eat the chicken? No, Boiled. he's not going to. They're, he's they're not, using them for the eggs. He's okay. not going to eat them. But I guess that's I'm the joke, is naming them after edible versions of themselves. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it was funny, so I'm going to keep going. Uh, let's get personal from, with Ethan. Uh, so the YouTube Next Up contest is still going on. If you guys get a chance, please head on over to uh, YouTube and vote for my Next Up video. What that, a lot of people are like, what the hell is this YouTube Next Up thing? Yeah. YouTube is giving $35,000 to 25 select partners to fund projects. Guess what project I want to fund? The Real Cool Club. The Real Club. Cool Club. Real Cool Club. Ew. Yes, this is it. So we have until tomorrow at 5 p.m. to get as many votes on my video as possible to move on to the next round, uh, where they'll announce whether or not I get one of those $35,000 checks. You've already moved up a tier, correct? I'm, I'm in semifinalists. Right. So the next round is quarterfinals, which is determined by YouTube judges. So mm -hmm. if I can get to that round, I feel like I have a pretty good chance, because my video... Uh, it's awesome. It's pretty good in the sense that it actually like says what we want the money to to go to. Mm. Uh, so if you, I can give you a really short link right now. It's bit.ly, the bit.ly, slash boat, capital V, Ethan, capital E. Do it, chat you, room. Do, do it, chat, chat room. room. Go do there it. right now. Someone do posted it. in the chat room. Uh, it'll link you directly to my video. Just thumbs it up. You don't have to have an account. You don't have to do anything. You just have to thumbs it up. That's it. That's me. That's, let, let's get personal and let's help fund the real cool club. Parvesh. Hey. Yeah. Let's get personal. All right. What's going on with you? Well, I just reconnected with a friend, uh, your namesake, actually, another friend of mine named Ethan. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, who um, was really mad at me this year. I was kind of a bad friend. I just was, you know, with filming and everything, I didn't really reach out and keep in touch with a lot of friends. So I'm happy to report that Ethan finally emailed me back, and hopefully we'll be friends again. And I'm also on the hygiene route. I think I'm doing, like, the week of, like, just going back to scruff. Mm -hmm. So I thought that that would be nice, like... I'm getting personal, y'all. I'm not shaving. I like I the scruff. I love Thank the you. scruff on you. I think it looks yeah. really great. And I will say that despite, you know, I know how friends can get hurt when they feel like they've been they've fallen to the wayside, but he would be yeah. crazy to not want to be your buddy again because you're an amazing friend, even if you get super busy sometimes, and we all know how that goes. I, I can imagine so. being on a television show, especially a network show, keeps you busy. So... Hmm. You guys will you guys will get reunited and the friendship will be rekindled. It will. I hope so. BFFs forever. forever. BFFs. Best friends forever. Forever. And now that the show is on hiatus, I hope that you and I can have a dance party soon. Yeah, I think so. I'm okay. going to come over to your new apartment. You should. Why Where can't do you we live have a dance again, party Lindsay? Here? I'm not saying that. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, what's your address again? Uh, just so everyone in the I chat room knows. I almost did. You almost got <laughs> I me. I got you. We kind of forget that there is an audience watching. Uh -huh. um, all right, guys, we're going to get to Photo Chop Shop here very soon. So if you still, you still have a chance to get your entries in, get Tell that photo. Out. Photo Chop Shop, you have like seconds Chop. to do one. And post it to the stream's Facebook page and tag the Real Cool Club in it. Just so we have them all into one organized album. We're going to get to them uh, in just a couple of seconds. Brian, do we have any entries in there yet? Uh, I've been looking for challenges. I've been checking uh, at the Real Cool Club for challenges, sure. and I've been looking at the chat room for challenges. Yeah. But uh, I haven't seen any, um, so I'm going to go to the Facebook page. Uh, how exactly is someone supposed to challenge if they're not posting it on the on the Twitter? Because I'm how checking are that. They supposed to challenge? It's always been through the chat room. Dude, Parker. But Parker's Parker. not here, and, and it, Parker. it used to be because you donated. So, right. Uh, yeah. So, well, at one point it I'm did. At the very, very him. beginning. I'm looking for them. But guys. we opened it up to I'm everyone. For everyone can challenge. But we haven't really opened up the floodgates, guys. We are doing challenge pit tonight. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, jump in the chat room, tweet us, do whatever. What, that, the what does that room. mean? And maybe we have new viewers because I know oh, that yeah. there's a lot of people that probably are watching this for the first time. What does challenge pit mean? All right, I got. I, I guess that's, the, that's a noise. That's a didgeridoo. That's, you could have just done a ding, Brian. Oh, I just thought that was kind of too mundane, really. Uh, from Tiger Lily, which I believe is Cherry Pie, yeah. challenge Ethan and Brian to go pantless for the rest of the show. Is that kind of... Well, that's pointless. Great, done! <laughs> yeah, look, check it out. I have no... Uh, there they go. 
Yeah, you have. Whoa, I look shower at this. What is this? It's a didgeridoo. Oh, it's a didgeridoo. <laughs> it's a didgeridoo <laughs> blow on the didgeridoo. Oh, I'm not blowing oh, anything. Your dad's watching. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, oh, blow it on the didgeridoo. Oh, 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 I'll do it. Whoa. And if he is watching, he now hates you. What? So good job. Why? Because I'm blowing my own didgeridoo? Because you're trying to make me blow your didgeridoo. Papa Harbert. The didgeridoo Papa sounds Harbert. a lot like the signal for the challenge pit, actually, is that the... when you think about how, how that sounds. Does that mean we're starting the challenge pit right now? No, no, we have to get to Photo Chop Shop first. So get your Photo Chop Shops in, guys. Oh, let me go look that's... those up. Let me go look those up. Uh, any more I questions for Parvesh, guys? Any more questions for Parvesh? Because we have them in the studio. Now's your chance to interact directly with the star of Outsource. And then you can say, Gupta. listen, I've talked to Parvesh China almost in person. Mm -hmm. I've talked to him live, then you wouldn't be lying. Mm -hmm. And he's a really nice guy. Everybody's gonna think that I'm Good just one. in love with you. Fooster, where's Parvesh's hometown? All right, I, I can take that one. Yeah. I am from the suburbs this of one's for Chicago. Lindsay. <laughs> Say that again. Can you imagine? Lindsay, answer for me, please. Lindsay, uh... He's from the suburbs of Chicago. <laughs> yeah. He went to school there. Right. And then he moved to Los Angeles. I did. Where he now lives. Lives. Another question for Par <laughs> another question for Parvesh. Uh, fielded by Brian. This is from Tightrope. What is the worst acting job he's ever had besides trying to care about me as a person? Oh. oh. Well, that was a hard one. But um, for real Z, I had to um, play a Mexican father who was, um, you know, like running for the border kind of thing. And uh, it was for Criminal Minds. And they had to do a thing where, like, my, um, I get decapitated by, like, this rogue, like, border patrol guy. And that? they had to do this episode really quick. So they needed my head. And I had done it. They had, like, you know, like the Mission Impossible when they go, like, whoosh, like this with the head. Yeah. You know, the, that plastic life cast. Mm -hmm. So I had that from, like, a commercial I'd done for the Middle East about, like, anti-terrorism. And they're like, all right, we have your head. You're the one who looks closest to a Mexican, so you have to play this part. And I remember I did lines and everything. They told me I was going to have any lines, and I just felt bad for all my other Mexican-American actors who are looking at me, and I'm like, como estas, everybody? <laughs> That's hysterical. <laughs> so it one, was bad. So one more question for you, Parvesh. It comes from Hoof Hearted. Hoof Hearted. Hoof Hearted. Hoof -hearted. Hoof -hearted. Uh, question, Parvesh. Yeah. What are some upcoming projects that you have lined up that you can talk about, obviously? Um, right now, we just got a lot of um, improv stuff. I do perform at Improv Olympic West, uh, along with Lindsay and Ethan. Yeah. Uh, my team, Bandit, performs on Tuesday nights. I also do have a musical improv team called All Skate mm -hmm. that performs at Second City. On the film front, I'll be doing um, a film with my friends Abby Miller and Brian Dietzen. And Brian, you might know from um, NCIS. He's one of the actors on oh, cool. NCIS. Oh, cool. Awesome. Very neat. Yeah. Uh, that's awesome. So if you guys have more questions for Parv, please uh, feel free to type them into the chat room or to Twitter us or whatever. Uh, we'll probably have to be able to handle a little bit of those in the post show, which is going to be very short tonight. The post show is going to be very, very short. Uh, so you'll be able to say hello to Parv, and that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, I say let's move on to Photo Chop Shop. Photo Chop. This is one of my favorite segments because we post a photo, you take it, you do whatever you want to it, and then you repost it, and then we get to choose a winner. Uh, and actually tonight, Parvesh, we're going to allow you to choose the winner, if that's okay with you. I would love to. Cool. I'm going to put my choosing hat on. I like that. Luckily, it's the same hat. That's true. I just yeah, moved it the to the right. <laughs> I just went like this to that. <laughs> it looks very similar to the one in Harry Potter. That's, Photo chop That's chop. what it's called, right? The sorting hat. The sorting hat, yeah. Yeah. Brian, let's take a look at some of our Photo Chop Shops. All right, this one, the first one is from uh, Bob Ross. <laughs> oh, my God. That's awesome. So the original photo was just Lindsay. That, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know who that is in the Caterpillar costume. Is that Brian? That's, no, I is think that that's Parker. Uh, he's not even on the show, that's and Parker. he gets priority over yeah, me. That's, that's pretty damn good that's Photoshop shot. That's about how that's much everyone awesome. values, okay. I'm, that values might be my, my new presence. Facebook picture. I'm not even in the picture, guys. Nobody, nobody even asked what was personal with me. It's like... I'm just oh, going to sit here and cry. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, I'm just going to sit here and cry. Let's stop everything. Hey, Brian. No. Let's get, let's personal. get personal. No, it's too What's late. What's going on with you? It's too late. No, Brian. actually, I'm just, I'm just being grumpy. I'm just being grumpy. I, uh, the thing personal to me, I've got, and I'm, I wish I was exaggerating, about four hours cumulative sleep in the last 72 hours. Oof. And so yeah. that's, that's my personal thing. I would ask you why, but I don't want to know his name. Well, <laughs> <laughs> let's go to the next Touché. one. Touche. Touche. <laughs> oh. What? Oh my! I don't know if I'm diarying or are those balls or, or those buns? balls? 
I think it's butt because it's brown. Oh, you're looking behind. I gotta say yeah. it's the butt because if it's yeah. balls, we could get in trouble. Yeah, and there yeah, looks yeah. like okay, Dookie that's coming down Lindsay's face. Yeah. That's, that's and bump. I have to say that's chocolate or we will get in trouble. Yeah, sure. That's okay. chocolate sauce. That's chocolate, chocolate sauce. Chocolate sauce being exuded from the bum Next. bum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's yeah. with you guys? That's frozen yogurt. <laughs> by, by the way, the, the last one was from uh, Dick Nam Man Kid, and this one is Nick Craig. Very original, guys. Uh, remember, remember we original. asked you to put your, 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 the best hat on Lindsay, and so Oh, far, I forgot that these were hats! That's a pretty good hat. Let's look at the next one. Um, <laughs> so of course, uh, this is uh, ice cream. I hope this gets better. Fro- it's Fro-Yo, guys. Yeah, Fro-Yo. It's just some Fro-Yo. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I can get down with that. I can get nice. down with that. <laughs> You'd be down with that? Is that what I just heard? No, I mean, the, that photo chop shop. My question was how many... Um, Male genitalia would going to be put on my head. Well, so, far, so far, none. So far, one. That's the male. <laughs> next is going to be a tea party. Let's take a look at the next one. Oh, uh, that's not bad. Oh, it's a dolphin. A $24,000 dolphin. I don't understand. And who's and, in the house? A uh, cat? It's, it's Jake Parker. Gyllenhaal? It's Parker and, and no cat. Ethan. Parker yeah. and no Ethan yeah. even. Yeah, I'm not even in there. Maybe yeah, you're the cat. kitty. Uh, and then the, I, I can't tell if they photoshopped another black cat in the background. That was yeah, gross. right there. Good work just, with just that. Just to be unlucky or maybe that was his I don't understand that one at all. Yeah, good luck with that. Okay, next. Okay. okay. Squid hat. Cool. Nice. Oh, uh, this was Lyle Thompson, and that one was Sinister X Dude. Sorry, okay. I'm not doing my job. That's okay. Lyle Thompson. Thank okay. you, Lyle. And this is the last one for now. This is Misty. Okay. This That's is pretty the, funny. This yeah. is Ethan without a jaw. Yeah. Ethan Me without a jaw. just eating Lindsay's head. head. I'll, okay. go t- I'll go check to see if there's any more okay. since, I, since I pulled the screen up. So, so, so far, Parv, uh, are there any that are tickling your fancy? Yeah, I really like the dolphin. Mm-hmm. The twenty-four thousand dollar dolphin, because mm-hmm. I mean, I think, think that's, a fair, that's a yeah. fair price. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I also do like the froyo. <laughs> the froyo one is froyo. Funny. It's so simple. Do you guys think I'm a I'm a shithead? <laughs> no. A froyo head? <laughs> no. I just like frozen yogurt. Uh, Steve, I was asking, where's mine? Did you tag Real Cool Club? You got to make sure that you tag the Real Cool Club because that keeps everything in the same album. I just looked at the stream page again. I'll go check one more time. Sure. Go, yeah, we'll, we'll look for it, Steve. It's, uh, um, if you go to uh, fa- to do with Facebook, brown? facebook.com slash the stream dot TV. It probably has to do with Froyo again. More but Froyo. you know what? The one with the um, the one with the Alice in Wonderland theme mm-hmm. did have a hat theme, which was also kind of cool. Mm-hmm. You know, I do have to say that that is that could be winning also. Right, right. Parv's keeping it up in the air, which I appreciate. Yeah, Parv. Yeah, good, good I'm going to keep that. it suspenseful. Brian, let's go take a look at those uh, those again, so we ha- at least have an idea of what Parv's narrowing it down to. We okay, had the give me two seconds. I was trying to pull up and find if there was someone else's, sure. but they have failed to post it on. Not even even if they didn't uh, even if they didn't uh, get it with a real cool club tag. I looked at everything posted on the stream.tv fan page, and I could not find it. I'm so sorry. Sorry, guys. It's oh, not there. Yeah, Steve O says he put it on the real cool club's Facebook. Uh, okay, well, those, weren't, those weren't the instructions, man. I'm sorry. Maybe, uh, maybe I could find that. I don't even want to go look. I'm going to look at these again real quick, real quick. There's the Ethan one. Yep. Yep. This was from, uh, let me scroll down Misty. a little here. This is Misty. And this is Lyle Thompson. <laughs> Lyle Thompson. This is Sinister X Dude. It's just artsy. That's so cool. I just want to yeah. know Misty what, Bruce. He, what his thought process yeah. was. Nick Craig. Bro, yo. Uh, Dick Man Mankind. <laughs> at least that one's not winning. Bob Ross. See, that's nice. I mean, like, Bob look at Listen, Ross. Bob Ross, I dig you. Yeah. I dig your style. And you got the dress and everything. You got Alice. Yeah. Right there. Oh, yeah. A couple of people posted on the Real Cool Club Facebook page. Yeah. Um, but that's okay. Uh, a couple people entered a couple times. Um, I did okay, like Bob. that you had that muscle guy, like the gay muscle guy from South Park. From South Park. Because mm-hmm. I just saw Book of Mormon in New York, the musical, and it is pretty awesome. I do nice. recommend. Recommend it. Recommend it. So there's three more. I have three more Ooh. here. Okay. okay, let's see them. Let's see them, and then we'll have uh, Parvesh choose a final winner. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm going to go speedy delivery let's here. See the last one's here? All right, let me put it back on two. All right, this is adjudication. Right. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you, Parvesh. Aw. Happy Hello. birthday to Steve. Oh, since 4785. Happy birthday again, Steve 4785. Oh, I see. Nice little um, beanie. Little yeah. beanie. Little beanie. Noah. No beanie. Clark. Little like, beanie that's there. That's nice. And, and that's oh, Nick Craig that, again. Yeah, that was great. And Dick <laughs> <laughs> This well, is Noah Clark. Say? Noah Clark. I'm with Stupid and an arrow pointing to herself. It's nice. Oh, that's okay. so sweet. All right, Parv. These are your entries. Okay. Um, I want to give a special shout out to the happy birthday to Stevo. That was very sweet. Mm-hmm. Happy birthday, Stevo. Uh, and then um, even though I do like the Froyo one. I think we could all go for Froyo later. Ooh. I am going to have to give it to the twenty-four thousand dollar 
Dolphin! $21,000 yeah. Dolphin! Who was that? Sinister X Dude. Sinister X Dude. I don't know who they are in the chat Congratulations. Room, and thanks for not putting a brown substance on my head. But putting an endangered <laughs> yeah, substance on your head. For only $24,000, that's a steal yeah, for a dolphin. Yeah, it's a dolphin hat. You didn't even have to fight Hayden Pennetier in a cove in I Japan take to get her. it. I could totally take her. Yeah, probably. <laughs> to a shower. I think that's a didgeridoo. That is going to lead us right in to our next segment. Do it. Challenge Ow. These are really tall. <laughs> Just keep playing it. Wheel this guy off. We're all going to get tangled in each other's mics. You can't explain it, Brian. <laughs> it's like Mortal Kombat. It is. Finish no, it's it. Why are you taller than me today? So we're far because, away. Can you only take my shoes off? No, no. Guys, I uh, this is Challenge Pit. Um, at, I, I found a few more challenges. Uh, on the uh, at the real cool club, I can check in the really? chat room in just a little bit. We're like the same height, but uh, I got a few in here, and this is where they're going to uh, try to try to take your requests and improvise challenges in challenge pit. There we go. Hey We're guys. In the pit. We're in the pit oh, of challenge. Pit. Pit. Ryan, what do we got? Challenge us. Take that. <laughs> the from tiny tiny pit, the tiniest pit alive. I challenge from uh, Tiger Lily. Uh -huh. I challenge Lindsay to sing a love song. To Parvish. Can it be a duet? Yeah. Boo doo doo doo. There was a time that you weren't in my life. I was sad and I was full of strife. Then you came along and you stole my heart. I never thought that we would have to part. But then you got super famous. And that's okay. I think so. <laughs> but now you're here. You're here to stay. That's good, Lindsay. Thank you. Yeah, you haven't lost it at all. I haven't been able to do a musical show in so long. Good job, Lindsay. Good job. Good job. Yeah. Challenge pit. Challenge You did it. Bring on the challenges. More challenges. More challenges. More challenges. challenges. More, challenges. More, challenges. More challenges. Okay, uh, from Tightrope, I challenge Ethan and Parvesh to fight over Lindsay with the poorest quality insults they can think of. All right. Yeah. Lindsay, yeah, be Challenge scared. <laughs> what are we going to do? Only she's one of mine. Us, only she's the only room for one of us in her heart. I will fight you to the death for her. All right. Well, you have really blue eyes. You're going to let him say that to you? No. You have the most amazing skin tone. Oh. God, you're going to take that? Well, you look like a hipster, and it works. Oh. Well, you're successful. Oh, oh, God, you guys. Well, you're tall. Oh. Well, you're an adorable human being. Oh. Well, you're my friend. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Didgeridoo. <laughs> Okay, we have more challenges. Ba -dum, ba -dum. More challenges from Piston Hammer. Challenge Skits. He's changing things up a little bit. Oh, Parvesh is the owner of a bodega, uh -huh. and he has just caught Ethan and Lindsay shoplifting. Dot dot dot. Go. Okay, Lindsay, here, take this quick. I'll just put it in my pants. Hey, all right, you Stop guys. Fighting. I'm ready to ring. Whoa. You guys are stealing bikini swimwear. <laughs> we both need. We both needed it. We both it. needed it, we and were we planning on paying it. for it. We were planning on paying for it. But what am I gonna do? It's Bob's bodega. Are you Bob? I'm Bob. Oh, that's why you're worried about it. <laughs> I've got it. We can't pay you with money, but we can pay you with. Oh, my didgeridoo! More challenges. More challenges. Um, all right, I'm going to trade this money from Senior Shutter Challenge. Everyone trade hats. Go! All right. Oh, this is plugged in, guys. Wait, let it go. Let it go. It's pinned. Brian, try your hat with yourself. Oh. 
What the fuck? What the fuck is that noise? My bird. It was me. I was transforming. Like it hurts. Like it hurts. Like it hurts. Like it hurts. Guys, that was your challenges. That was your challenge bit. There you go. Pew, right. pew. <laughs> I feel like we're in a pit and it's pew. like Star Wars pew. or Indiana Jones coming at us. It's all of it. Challenge pit! Pew. 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 That's pew. it, ladies and gentlemen. Ow. This has been The Real Cool Slub. Once again, this was live. It is April 7th. We're here every Thursday at 6 p.m. Well, until next week. Next week is our last show before we go on a very short hiatus. Very short. Uh, to all of you who've been watching live, thank you very, very much for tuning in. You'll be able to watch this in the archives at uh, thestream.tv slash realcoolclub. Can you not Big wait? Big special thank you to mm. Parve and wow. Tina from Outsource. Woo. Yay. You can watch them tonight. Thanks, guys. Tonight. 10.30 Pacific Standard Time? Nope. Not, no. 10.30 Eastern. Eastern. And Pacific. And Pacific. You were both right. Nope. So watch him tonight on AdSource on NBC and uh, check out for him and everything in the future. And you can Twitter uh, me at, at Parvesh. And you can Twitter all of us at The Real Cool Club. Go to realcoolclub.com. At Ethan Newberry. At Lindsay Harbert. At Parvesh. That's it. Real Cool Club out. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. 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 Newberry.com